In the world of special missions, customers have all sorts of tasks that they need to equip aircraft for. We're here at the Paris Air Show to hear from Textron about how that happens. So we're standing here today in, in front of our King Air 360. The 300 model, which is the three, the, previously the 350, 360, has been the workhorse of the industry. And what we brought to the show this year were a lot of new things that we've been developing for the aircraft. We've actually, everything here has been delivered to customers before, and we just have put those together in an aircraft so we can highlight a lot of different things that we're, that we're offering the market. Yeah, and uh, behind you, just over your left shoulder, I'm seeing what looks to me like a longer nose than I would expect, and then there's some sort of uh, sensor pod beneath it. Would you describe those for us? On this aircraft, you'll see an extended nose, which we developed for customers to actually be able to carry ca uh, different sensors, different cameras. This one has a 20-inch camera installed. It's on a lift. It fully retracts into the aircraft, so there's no performance hit with it retracted. We have two different options on the lift, a 15-inch sensor or a 20-inch sensor, and there are obviously many different manufacturers that can be installed on that. So when you install something like that, you said that there's no hit to the performance. Do you explain a bit more, how do you achieve that? Because it seems like the aerodynamics would change. So as the OEM, we know our aircraft. And as we develop something like this nose, this we started probably about six years ago with a customer that needed to get their center gravity further forward and they needed a larger sensor. And we looked at where our radome bulkhead was and the, the actual original structure and contour and figured out we could move the bulkhead 33 inches forward and fit a 20 inch sensor conformally inside the, the actual aerodynamic profile of the new nose. So Bob, obviously in, in various missions, uh, it's not enough just for these aircraft to be equipped with what's needed. They have to fly uh, to the right endurance, I suppose. Tell us a little bit about the engines and, and the performance of the aircraft. Yeah, so the aircraft that we brought this year has our factory installed 6.7 Alpha engines, which gives you a better hot and high performance and actually more cruise speed than the Dash 60, which is standard on the King Air 360, because they, they just have a higher thermodynamic limits to them. It has our extended range, which we've been offering for years, which gives you a you know, 2,500 nautical mile aircraft or you know, for a lot of our customers, eight hours of loiter time. With our extended range option, we do a couple of things. One is it, it immediately means we have our heavyweight kit on it. So we take the aircraft from a 15,000 pound to a 16.5, a max takeoff weight. And we add quite a bit of additional fuel on the aft end of the nacelle. We also do offer a 17,500 pound max takeoff weight, which this aircraft has which is not visible externally, but so you can actually get 2,500 pounds more useful load than a standard King Air 360. We also on this aircraft have our factory hard points, which is something that we've, we've actually sold for a few years to different customers. So we have structure design in the wing for external loads. To highlight our external load provisions or our hard points, uh, we have actually a different pod on each wing. This one is a pod that has two fixed panel radars in it. So it actually gives, you know, gives a forward look radar. It's not a 360, it doesn't rotate. On the other side, we have a pod that can have different receivers for different types of intelligence, but it also has a smaller 15-inch electro-optical camera in that pod. So it gives an idea of how a customer can have an aircraft that can be quickly configured for different missions. Uh, or obviously these things can be permanently installed. And can you tell us what's inside the cabin? Since this is sort of a surveillance setup, I would imagine there might be displays in there or workstations. Yeah, so this aircraft uh, is a demonstrator and the idea is to really show the breadth of the missions it can do. As you look at the external, you see uh, what would be really a surveillance type setup. Inside, we do have a console to give the idea of how it would be for a mission operator. There's a mission seat, and you'll see how in a normal surveillance type mission, you'll have operators in the back that are really combining the different information from the different equipment on the aircraft to provide the, you know, the intelligence or the, or the product that, that they need in the back. 
This also, because it's a cargo door King Air, we also have a medical kit in the back because a lot of our customers are actually doing emergency medical care with King Airs. Even if it's not the only role the aircraft does, many of them do want a cargo door because especially government agencies, they need to be able to, to respond to disaster relief or respond to a medical emergency. So we always want to showcase the multi-mission capability. And generally speaking, I mean, it's, the world's changing very fast. There must be new applications emerging all the time. But generally speaking, what sort of trends are you seeing in the special mission sector in terms of the sort of requests that are being made of you? Our markets do shift over time, but there's some stability to it. And we see kind of up and down trends. Wildfires, forest fires have tended to be a bigger focus in the last few years. So camera modifications for spotting fires, mapping fires, uh, communications equipment to guide aircraft to fires, that type of mission has been on a rise. The medical focus has actually grown quite a bit in the last few years as well. I still attribute some of that to the pandemic and really, you know, national healthcare systems thinking, hey, we need to have modern, we need to have capability. And honestly, the air ambulance fleet around the globe has been depending on very old, what have now become very old aircraft. And so we see a lot of them starting to modernize and really do the research and come up with something uh, new there. Those are kind of the bigger patterns. The surveillance or the border security is kind of steady globally. There's always somewhere that needs you know, have some new concern or some new area of opportunity. But uh, the King Air 360 has been such a base in that, that that's a very steady business for us. It, the specific country or market shift a little bit, but the total volume really looks about the same.